let's see. Okay, uh, there is a question uh, <laughs> concerning the jal. Somebody asked, and this is uh, actually was asked in Urdu also. So I'm planning to, inshallah, uh, cover this in Urdu and English, uh, both, inshallah ta'ala. Somebody asked that are pictures of the jal real? Let me show you. So the question is, are these pictures real? Uh, the answer is actually, none of these pictures are real. Uh, let me run another set of pictures for you. This is all over the internet. Uh, like There's a Dajjal kid. Uh, I'll come to that in the end. But the one that's really disturbing actually uh, is a series of pictures like this okay so just take a look at these we have hmm, this series of pictures are all over the internet sadly circulated by the Muslims okay they are circulated by the Muslims and many Dajjal videos you see such pictures this is the worst one. And this was actually uh, sent by um, somewhere in Arab news. And this is also a worse one. A man with an eye in the middle says this is... And it says actually, uh, one eyed Dajjal has come. One eyed Dajjal has come. And then even in this hadith that actually it's written in Urdu, uh, 7123, the description of the Dajjal is given, but the picture in the back is not really descriptive of the Dajjal. Uh, why? Let me tell you why. Okay, let's get back to this picture again the reason is first of all prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam i invite you to go to the books of hadith uh, easiest one is sahih bukhari and muslim when you look at those i'll tell you what's wrong with these pictures number 1 prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave lots of descriptions of the jal and many of them actually don't define a fix picture of the Dajjal. For instance, just looking at his eyes, one-eyed Dajjal. One hadith, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam says, it's in Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of trials, chapter 26, chapter 27, and I believe chapter 28 also. Uh, uh, 26 and 27. Two chapters Imam Bukhari has dedicated uh, uh, on the subject of Dajjal. And in chapter 26, the hadith numbers, they begin from uh, yes they start from 7122 this is the number of the hadith prophet ﷺ has clearly mentioned uh, uh, the hadith I, I love one of the beautiful hadith where prophet ﷺ says uh, it's an agreed upon hadith it's in bukhari and muslim both he says inna allah in Allah la yakhfa alaykum. God Almighty is not hidden from you. Meaning, you know what God Almighty is. It's not like you don't know Allah. You, it's not like you don't. Uh, it's not like you have no idea. In Allah la yakhfa alaykum. This is Sahih al Bukhari, seven thousand four hundred and seven. He says, In Allah la. <coughs> excuse me, la yakhfa alaykum. In Allah laysa biawar. God is not. Uh, he's not one-eyed. And he says, وَأَشَارَ بِيَدِهِ إِلَىٰ عَيْنِي And Prophet ﷺ pointed toward his eye. Allahu Akbar. وَإِنَّ الْمَسِيحَ الدَّجَّالَ أَعْوَرُ الْعَيْنِ الْيُمْنَا كَأَنَّ عَيْنَهُ عِنَبَةٌ طَافِيَةٌ 7407 Sahih al-Bukhari. This comes in the later chapters. So Prophet ﷺ says that indeed the one-eyed is the Dajjal, the imposter, the liar, the false messiah, the false Christ. Um, uh, the big liar, the Dajjal also means a big liar, he is blind from his right eye as if it is an overblown um, bulging grape, a bigger grown grape. Now tell me with all honesty, any of these pictures that you see, I don't see any one of them that looks like a grape. The only one that looks like somewhat, somewhat, somewhat looks like a grape is the very the one uh, very left on um, on the very very left corner of the screen, you know, by the by the bookshelf, by the bookshelf, right there in the corner. 
that one may look like a grape, but you know this is not how a big grape looks like. The grape is not two colors. So that's also a false one. And the big pro problem with this picture is that it has one eye. Remember, Prophet did not mention that he doesn't have the other eye. He has the other eye. So where is the other eye of this Dajjal? This picture is absolutely false. Ignore it. Remember one in the slideshow that I showed you one picture, a uh, newspaper cutting, where it says, oh, one eye Dajjal has come and a man has an eye, poor guy right here. Astaghfirullah. I feel sorry for that guy. Some, I hope someone didn't kill him. So this is false. And the second and the third, you can see there's no such thing. And then Prophet ﷺ also in authentic hadith described how big his neck will be, how hairy he would be. None of these match those. Subhanallah. And not to confuse you, but you will be surprised that actually Prophet ﷺ said in Sunan Ibn Majah and Sahih Muslim, Another authentic hadith where Prophet says, Ad-Dajjalu a'waru al-ayn al-yusra jufalu shi'ari ma'ahu janna wa narun fanaruhu janna wa jannatu nar This is Sahih Muslim. Uh, two numbers. The English reference number is 7010 uh, and, uh, and, and uh, Arabic is 2934. But it's in the book of trials in Sahih Muslim. Kitab al-Fitan wa Ashrat al-Sa'a. Prophet says, Dajjal is blind from his left eye from his left eye and he has big hair okay uh, subhanallah thick hair thick hair and prophet even described his neck neck in another hadith like a trunk of a tree none of these pictures have that description so please stop imagining the jal in these pictures so this hadith is actually saying he's blind in the left eye so the pictures you have in front of you he's blind in the right eye so which one is right? See the problem? So it's not easy to imagine the Jal in one fixed form. Scholars have actually determined based on these two reports, both are authentic Bukhari Muslim. There's no higher level of authenticity than Bukhari and Muslim. They say, uh, based on all these reports, the blind in right eye means that he cannot see the truth. He's blinded from haqq. Remember, like Allah says in the Quran, uh, they are blind in the hearts, blinded from the heart, blinded from the truth. The left eye is physically blind, where Prophet ﷺ has given the grape-like description. Okay, a big, huge grape. Subhanallah, even greenish. There's, there's not one of these that describes him perfectly. So most of these pictures are actually false. Another problem now. If you notice their foreheads, Prophet ﷺ actually has described it. Bukhari Muslim both. Uh, in Sahih Muslim, he says, in the, again, Book of Trials and Tribulations, he says, uh, Dajjal, he is, uh, he's blinded, okay? Uh, he's blind of one eye. Mamsuh al actually says, is blind from one eye or blinded. And, Maktubun bayna aynayhi kafir. Here on his forehead it's written kafir and summa tahajaha kaf fara. Yakra uhu kullu muslim. Some scholars say it's only kaf fara written, which is kafir or kufr, disbelief. It actually is interpreted as that he will bring disbelief to people, lead them to disbelief, lead them to kufr, a state of disbelief, making a person kafir. The way Prophet ﷺ described, kafara. And he says, every Muslim can read it. Narrated by Muslim, Sahih Muslim. Every Muslim, Prophet ﷺ did not say kafir can read it. So this kafir written, everybody can read it. Even Arab Christians can read it because it's written in Arabic. <laughs> Subhanallah. So please watch out, brothers. Second set of pictures is very disturbing, actually. I am going to take you to another important aspect of this. Here you, you go, I'm sending you this. Poor babies whose pictures are shown like this. And we will say, oh, the Jal is born. This is the most circulated, one of the most circulated ones. Very disturbing. Wallahi, fear Allah, brothers and sisters. And may Allah save you and I from being tested like this. This is one of the most notorious ones. Sadly, a poor baby's picture. They say, look, one eye is like a grape. And he is, uh, astaghfirullah, blinded from the... Um, from the 
from this uh, he's blinded from the uh, one eye uh, completely and the other eye is like a grip subhanallah this is it, it's it's very sad it's it's very sad So, my brothers and sisters, this is not a good picture to show, unfortunately. Um, there are some other pictures also like this that get circulated around. Uh, however, uh, this is actually a condition. It's called, uh, so pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah not put you and I through this kind of test. May we not have a baby like this but if Allah astaghfirullah Allah samahallah Allah samahallah put us through a test like this then that baby is not the jal actually it's a medical condition it's called cyclopia okay I had um, let me show you this this is how it is and I have this image for you and it's actually described very clearly it said cyclopia is an extreme uh, <clears throat> It's a, it's a very rare condition, a devastating one for the kids. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, save us from being tested in this, unfortunately. Uh, so it's a malformation of the ex external and internal structure of the head in the brain, uh, lack of development, and it, it's not treatable, it's not curable. And uh, in this condition, the brain is radically reduced and simplified that there is no way to repair it. It had never grown properly to begin with. Now you will be surprised. This condition happens among the animals also. Okay, inshallah, when we will make a video clip of this, we will, um, we will inshallah, share uh, those with you, inshallah, ta'ala, later on at some point. Uh, in the animals, in the... In animals also, you can have one-eyed animal. Uh, this is, uh, and subhanAllah, one-eyed creatures or persons in different cultures were seen differently. In the Irish culture, there were myths that it's a god of, uh, or a lord of vengeance, like astaghfirullah, a, a divine association. And in the Japanese cultures, it's a very peaceful, harmless person, um, you know, Hitotsumi Kazo. That's the weird name in the Japanese cultures. That's there. So in some cultures, it's a harmless creature. Some cultures, it's harmful. You know, of course, people saw something weird. So they thought this baby may be a devil or this baby may be a um, genie or maybe um, God's vengeance or something. So people would end up sometime killing. But in some cultures, it was seen normal. So anyway, this is not, it has nothing to do with the Jal. Unfortunately, um, you know what um, our how our society is. Please disregard all of these pictures. None of them have anything to do with the jal. Uh, the only picture that may be, you know, I would say somewhat descriptive that um, these people show, Subhanallah. Uh, you know, just for YouTube purposes and stuff. The one in the middle or on the very uh, right, uh, the one that has two eyes. They can use it, but really it's not purely, even this is not descriptive as I shared with you. But please do not show the one-eyed person in the middle of the head and say this is the jal born as I showed you newspaper clippings. May Allah protect us all. So inshallah, I'm going to take a three-minute short break. 